All right, this here is a situation where somebody may have put in a wrong account number and we need to change it. So we need to go into administration and this is before banking. All right, this is PL9, so it doesn't work quite the same as some of the other ones, but it will overall be uh, similar. Normally, in the other systems I've seen where they'll have um, the account code, well, like this one here, showing here, but I manually put that in. It wasn't pulling over automatically. And so this Bank of America account, we're going to say oops, that somebody had put in it incorrectly. Our situation is that this should have been a 3743, not 3443. Uh, and so it was put in incorrectly. So we want to change this as our default account number. So in order to do this, we can go into the uh, house bank accounts. And right here is the one we want to change. Now if I change that to a 7, and I'm going to actually, I want to copy this. This is the way it's supposed to be. Control C. All right, so now it says update. I try to update it. Well, it says that it can't be updated because there's links and everything. And so what you end up having to do is create a new house bank account and then tie it back to this one. This one here is in the bank setup. Try to update. It says list uh, house bank accounts. There isn't one with that number. So I'm going to say new. It brings me back to the house bank account setup. And so now I'm going to put it in. And let's see, I've saved it. So I'm going to control V. So basically it's the same account number as this one, but instead of 3, 4, it's 3, 7. So this would be a typo, but also if you were adding another account, you could just add an account this way. Add an account is easier than if you had one that was uh, put in correctly. So I'm going to copy this. Do the same here. All right, and then also most of the time you end up having, you know, check number. This is a demo system. No checks have been printed, but say if this one was, you know, 5335, I would go ahead and put 5335, the same check number. Update. Hit OK. Now I'm back to my bank's setup here, my Bank of America account. So it has that account number in there, so I can select this one. 3743 update and now it's updated as you can see 3743 if we go over here it's still saying the old account number so it just needs to be refreshed so we go to system initialization company details it's under the basic initialization normally you come in here it's going to be under the basic it's got the 3-4, we just hit the drop down, hit Bank of America, and it brings it in automatically. So then you click Update, OK, so now our default account is correct. So if you have any documents that are tied to that account that you know, print information for customers, you know that would pull up dynamically. Um, another issue though is business partners some of them may have you know payment system well these ones have Bank of New York um, I'm gonna do find I'm gonna control F and see if there was any on this old number right here find okay so I've got five of them that need to be changed and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a print preview so I can have a copy of these. Slide that over there. I'm going to first click this first person, payment system, K 
Okay, so the account number is wrong. Select it. Update. So my next one is, uh, let's see, 40,000. How far do I have to go? Well, let's go to Control F. C. 40,000. Payment system. Change them. And then I do the same for the rest of these. That way everything's reflected correctly on that. And that is it for making a correction on a account number for a bank. Thank you.